So what are some of the best e-commerce web hosts that you need to know about? Let's get to it. What's up everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So e-commerce web hosting, whether or not you're using Magento, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, whatever, you have a lot of different options when it comes to e-commerce hosting. Now, there are quite a few things to be aware of when choosing an e-commerce web host. One detail you want to be aware of is you wanna make sure that the web host infrastructure is PCI DSS compliant which is just a standard for storing credit card information. Now, in general, e-commerce web hosting is simply more expensive because it's just more server side intensive. Think about it, if you have a blog and a static blog post, well, it's static. It stays the same for a multitude of users around the world. Whereas if you have an e-commerce website, think about it, like having a thousand people on your site, they each have their own customer account, different items in their cart, different recommendations, their own payment information. It just creates a way more dynamic website. So when looking for an e-commerce web host, you just wanna make sure that it's running the latest PHP, has multiple data centers, a CDN, advanced caching, etc. So anyways, what are some some of the best e-commerce web hosts that you need to be aware of let's get to it number one is siteground so siteground is one of my favorite web hosts and they are a great option for any type of woocommerce based website now siteground is actually one of only three recommended web hosts by wordpress so they offer a high performance woocommerce hosting plan let's go ahead and click on get started now what they specifically offer is a managed woocommerce hosting plan and that means like they're going to update your site update the plugins make sure everything's uh, going well from a technical standpoint now they do offer three different plan startup grow big and go geek i recommend the grow big unlimited websites twenty five thousand monthly visitors free ssl free cdn free wordpress installation free wordpress migration let's come down here you you get cloudflare cdn smart caching ultra fast platform ssd servers php7 they have the technology so your website loads quickly because e-commerce websites are a little bit more resource intensive and also they just allow you to scale your website so you can start on the grow big plan when your website gets larger then you can move up to the go geek plan anyways that's number one siteground number two is name hero so name hero is a fast growing web host and if we scroll down they offer a few different packages so the ones i would recommend are their turbo cloud and their business cloud so business cloud would be my number one recommend package from name hero and then number two would be their turbo cloud yes i know it's their most expensive package but Again, with an e-commerce website, it's just more resource intensive. So you gotta imagine like you have a website, you have like a thousand different customer accounts, all who have different things in their cart. It just requires a heavier load on a server. So you're going to need just a little bit more power. And so you're gonna get that with the business cloud plan. And in addition to that, you just get a bunch of other helpful things. So for example, you get a premium SSL certificate that's more designed for e-commerce. So again, like you're going to be accepting credit card payments. You just definitely need a better, a uh, higher level SSL certificate than something as basic as like Let's Encrypt, which is still okay, but it, again, you know, a premium SSL certificate is just better. You also get enhanced WordPress security, website migrations, and a free in auto SSL certificate. And last, you get a free domain name with Name Hero if you sign up for a 24 or 36 month term. So, anyways, that's number two, Name Hero. Number three is A2 Hosting. So, A2 Hosting offers two different solutions for anyone who has an online store. So, they have a dedicated e commerce hosting plan, which are pretty expensive. Again, these are more geared for like a established websites, established stores that are already getting traffic and not necessarily WooCommerce. So they have a bunch of different plans starting at $39.99 a month, which is their Lyft 4. Now, this is again a VPS option right here. So if you've never had a VPS, uh, you're definitely going to want to get a managed VPS because you're, you don't want to spend time with the technical aspect of managing your own decade VPS. But anyways, this is an ideal option to run like OpenCar, Magento, WooCommerce as well. Now, in addition to this, they also have a dedicated WooCommerce hosting plan like a lot of other web hosts, and this is much more affordable and it's more ideal if you're just starting out. So the best WooCommerce hosting solution. And so again, I recommend what they recommend, their Turbo Boost, which is $9.99 a month to get started with. You get unlimited websites, unlimited storage, free and easy migration, automatic backups, and then they provide the infrastructure on the back end to provide the speed and power that you need in order to have an effective e-commerce website load quickly and provide a good user experience. 
So anyways, that's number three, A2 hosting. Number four is Hostinger. Yes, Hostinger, that budget web host, they actually offer some dedicated e-commerce hosting plans that are pretty good for beginners or anyone on a budget who's still looking to get some value for their money. So right down here, they have Magento Hosting, WooCommerce, and PrestaShop. Now, if we take a quick look at their WooCommerce hosting plan, we come down here. They have WooStarter, Premium, and Business. Now, the differences between the two. Uh, obviously, Premium and Woo Business, I think, are the best, primarily because you get a CDN, whereas with the WooStarter, you don't get a CDN. Then the primary differences between the two are the amount of websites you can have, SSD storage, RAM, the cores, etc. Again, you can always upgrade your account. So, like when it, you know, when the time comes to upgrade you know, your account to get more resources, you can do that. But definitely I would suggest starting with Woo Premium just because you get that CDN right there. You can even have a dedicated IP address <laughs> with the Woo Premium plan, which is really nice. So anyways, if we take a quick look at the their Magento hosting options, we can come down here. We can choose a Magento hosting plan. You also get a cloud hosting plans come with a domain name completely for free. So their cloud hosting plans for their Magento hosting are cloud startup, professional, and cloud enterprise. And right down there, they're pretty much, not that they're the same, but you, there's no real like striking limitation. So I personally would probably just start with the cloud startup over here if I was going to be building a Magento based website, simply because like if you take a look at these three plans, I mean, for me, that's <laughs> lack of a CDN, lack of a dedicated IP address makes the Woo starter plan just unappealing particularly when you compare it to the Woo Premium. Uh, but with like the Magento hosting plans, they're all pretty balanced. And so again, you just pay more, you get more resources. So if you're starting out and you want to go with Magento, I definitely would suggest just going with the cloud startup plan. So anyways, that's number four, Hostinger. Number five is Bluehost. Yes, Bluehost. So they are the number one recommended web host for WordPress. And I definitely recommend them for anyone who wants to start a blog, but I don't necessarily recommend their shared hosting plans if you want to create an e-commerce based website. For that, I definitely recommend checking out their WooCommerce based web hosting options. Now, again, this is for WooCommerce. If you want to do something else like press a shop or Magento, obviously this is not for you. Uh, but anyways, they have two plans. They have their standard and they have their premium. And so you can sign one month, 12 months, or 36 month contracts. And so we come down here. Uh, in general, this I don't find this section of their site particularly helpful because it's just like, look, this is what you get with WooCommerce. Unlimited products and like WooCommerce installed. Like you can do that yourself. Jetpack installed. Yeah, you can do that yourself. We come down here like discount codes. Yeah, that's part of WooCommerce. Online bookings and appointments. Like, yes, that's part of WooCommerce. So you have to scroll down a little bit further to see the value add that you get with going with Bluehost for e-commerce. So right down here, you get a free SSL certificate, multiple caching layers, site monitoring and statistics, Google My Business verification. I mean, again, you could do that yourself, but it's nice that they have that kind of built in. Again, a free domain name for the first year uh, and an unmetered bandwidth. But what's really nice right down here is their e-commerce plugins. So again, so start with start with included features like payment processing, shipping options, calendar bookings, then add capabilities with host of e-commerce plugins built for the Bluehost marketplace. So we come down here. So within the within Bluehost, you have your own. They have their own marketplace where you can add on things to your website. And so again, they come with a bunch of different helpful options. So like PayPal Pro, UPS shipping, Xerox. We come down here to uh, check out their premium bundle uh, plugin. Uh, integration. So with our premium package, this bundle includes access to over $200 in top WooCommerce plugins. So again, their premium package, which would be right there, $24.95 a month, you get access to various WooCommerce based plugins that are normally have to pay for to add to your website, etc. So anyways, Bluehost is definitely work, worth checking out if you're interested in starting an online store. Uh, are they my top choice for e-commerce? No, that definitely would still be SiteGround, but they are something to be aware of if you're a beginner looking to create your own online store with WooCommerce. So anyways, that's number five, Bluehost. Number six is Cloudways. So Cloudways is e-commerce hosting for an optimal experience. Anyways, Cloudways is a managed cloud web host. If you've never dealt with a cloud web host before, it could be a little bit technical for a complete beginner, but Cloudways is a great company and they're great for running WooCommerce, Magento, PrestaShop, and more. 
So let's scroll down right here. So first off, you can scale to excellence. So experience faster e-commerce website hosting with ironclad security and smooth scalability. What does that mean? It just means that you can start small and as your costs go up, as your income goes up, as your traffic goes up, you can scale your site on Cloudways instead of overpaying for some overly complicated web hosting plan that maybe you're not taking full advantage of. Now, right down here, what I really like is SSD-based hosting, built-in caches, optimized stack. So our stack uses the latest technologies, including Apache, NGINX, PHP, MySQL, etc. Then they also have the latest PHP ready service to go, Cloudways CDN, HTTP2 supported. So again, just the technology on the back end will enable your website to load quickly, handle multiple user accounts, lots of different traffics, etc. So we come down here, they have WooCommerce, Magento, Presta Shop, and PHP. Okay, so any type of like PHP flexible hosting for PHP e commerce websites, and of course, WordPress. So again, if you just want to start a blog with Cloudways, yeah, you can totally do that too. So we take a quick look at WooCommerce, which is usually the most popular option people go with. So we facilitate WooCommerce hosting by with advanced caching technologies for an optimized store, better conversion rates. So why a better conversion rate? Because you want your website to load quickly. When people click the buy now button, they want you want people to be directed immediately to their cart. You don't want there to be a lag where they have to wait two seconds for everything to load. Anyways, this is number six, Cloudways. Number seven is WP Engine. So as the name implies, WP Engine is for WordPress powered websites only. As such, we're talking about WooCommerce here. So let's scroll down a little bit. So it's the best solution to build and grow your e-commerce business. So let's keep going down the page. So right down here, personally, this is not too helpful <laughs> about selling me on WP Engine because it's just bringing up stuff that's kind of standard with any type of web host and e-commerce built with WordPress. Uh, for example, like create a beautiful online store in minutes. Like, yeah, I have a tutorial video on how to do that uh, right down here. So this is actually helpful. So you can sell more with instant store search powered by Elastic Press. That's actually quite helpful. Combine content and commerce, not that big of a deal. So it says with the professional plan, you can have three websites, but you're not going to want to start a separate website for a blog and then an e-commerce store. The advantage of going with WordPress and WooCommerce is that you can blog and you can do e-commerce on one domain on one WordPress installation. So for me, that's not a big selling point. Now, what is the selling point is we come down here is the technology. OK, so like with a more expensive web host like WP Engine, I care about the technology because I want my website to load fast. So people have a good experience on the store uh, and just can handle the amount of traffic and the server load, etc. So anyways, we come down here, world class hosting infrastructure. So I really like this data centers around the world, performance and monitoring of code, themes and plugins, WordPress optimized caching, site content in the clouds with a CDN. You get a dedicated server and server clusters available. I think that is fantastic. Now, please note that it is a bit expensive, okay? So their startup plan right there is $30 and you get one website, <laughs> okay? And only 25,000 monthly visitors. But you do get the technology behind it to really help power an effective e-commerce store. But honestly, for I think most people, you're probably going to want to be looking at the professional, which is $60 a month, which is quite expensive. But again, you get what you pay for with WP Engine. You can get three websites, 75,000 visitors a month, 15 gigabytes of storage and 125 gigabytes of bandwidth. So anyways, that's number seven, WP Engine. Number eight is Kinsta. So Kinsta is a managed WordPress web host. So managed meaning that they take care of all the technical backend stuff of your website. So you have your accounts, you can add a website, install WordPress, and you're good to go. Now they're ideal for e-commerce, WooCommerce specifically, just because of the technology that you get. So you get scalable infrastructure, server level caching, automatic backups, and a very secure website. And so we come down here, I like their copy too. So they're talking about how revenue drops for every one second, your website loads more slowly. That reduces the conversion rate by 7%. Really nice. So if we come down here, these are the additional things that you can get. So for example, they specialize in WooCommerce site migrations, 27 global data centers, Cloudflare firewall with built-in DDoS or DOS protection. And then we have automatic backups, uncompromising safety, powered by Google Cloud, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Again, Kinsta is a great web host, a high performance web host for any type of high traffic website or even like medium sized website. So how much does Kinsta cost? So they're not unreasonably expensive, but they're definitely not a budget oriented web host. So in general, the starter plan is $30, one WordPress install, and you get about 25,000 visitors a month with all this technology powering your e-commerce site. So it loads quickly. 
And so you can pay monthly or you can pay yearly and get a slight discount. So anyways, that's number eight, Kinsta. Number nine is Big Scoots. So Big Scoots provides pure SSD powered shared web hosting. So yes, they are a shared web host. As such, they're going to have a lower pricing point, but they do provide managed servers as well as various options for managed web hosting. But I like their shared web hosting for any type of small blog that want, where you want to attach some type of e-commerce functionality on top of it. Okay, so the primary focus of your website is blogging but then you just want to install woocommerce to sell some digital downloads of like maybe five ten physical products that type of deal the key focus is not like e-commerce per se anyways let's scroll down so they have 105 cc 155 cc and turbo diesel <laughs> so i think this is kind of funny so 105 c that's their scooter plan so it's that's a small scoot then 155 cc that's a dirt bike so that would be the big scoot plan then turbo diesel We'll call that the turbo scoot plan. Uh, so anyways, which one would I recommend? Obviously, if you're really focused on e-commerce, then go with the turbo diesel because you're going to want this turbo charged feature right there. If your primary focus is on blogging, but then you want to add in e-commerce, then I guess you can get away with the 155cc big scoot, as I'm calling it, plan. And so we take a look, you get a bunch of different aspects with the uh, each plan, unlimited mailboxes, database, 24-7 support, DOS protection, uh, free SSO certificates with the 155cc plan, and then a free domain name with the turbo diesel. So anyways, that's number nine, big scoots. And number 10 is Liquid Web. So they provide e-commerce hosting solutions. And what I like about Liquid Web are a few different things. So first off, they support a wide variety of platforms, not just WooCommerce. So you can go with Magento, PrestaShop, OpenCart, XCart, etc. in addition to WooCommerce. And what I really like right down here is that they offer fully managed servers. That's great because if you've never had a server before or even a VPS, you don't understand how technical it is on the back end that you're in charge. You got to take care of everything. It's not like having a shared hosting account with Bluehost where everything's done for you. And so offering a fully managed server is a big upsell to me. Then they have offsite backups, dedicated cloud infrastructure, and then this one right here, PCI compliant scans available. So if you're going to be storing credit card data on your WooCommerce site or whatever e-commerce platform you're going to be using, then you need to be compliant with PCI standards and their PCI scans help ensure that you do exactly that. Then we come down here, they have VPS, they have uh, dedicated hosting, and they have managed WooCommerce hosting. So if we take a look at their WooCommerce plans, uh, they offer affordable, highly performant, and easy to scale e-commerce hosting. All right. So anyways, let's get to the bottom. Let's see how much this all costs right there. So they have a few different plans. So their starter plan starts at $9.950 a month, and then it renews at $19 a month after six months. Now you can have one store, 30 gigabytes of storage, three terabytes of bandwidth, and then 500 orders per hour max. And so I think that's great. Okay, so that's this is a really good plan right here uh, to help get your site set up. And so again, it just scales up from there. So you have the creator plan, which is again, just like the starter times three, so on and so forth. And in addition to that, you also get the store builder. So if you're like, what's the store builder? So the store builder is kind of like an on-screen uh, walkthrough that we answer a bunch of simple questions and then kind of picks and chooses the aspects that you want to add in. So if you see my tutorial video on Wix, it's sort of like, you know, Wix's uh, onboarding process where they ask you a bunch of questions and they just choose the elements that you want to include on your website for you. Again, there's tons of tutorial videos here on YouTube. I have tutorial videos on how to create a store with WooCommerce. So totally up to you whether or not you think that's a selling point or you want to follow along with a uh, tutorial here on YouTube. Anyways, that is number 10, Liquid Web. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the best web hosting for e-commerce websites. My name is David from WebsiteCreditPro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.